Hi guys, I'm Emma and welcome to Art by Emma. So I don't know if you remember, but one of my videos working out my, uh, sorting out my workstation, um, I was showing you the boxes down here. Oh, it's gonna be heavy. And they were looking a little bit tatty and tired. So I said I was going to paint them and make them look a little bit better. Now, I'm not just going to do that. I'm not, not. I'm not just going to paint the old ones that I've got here. No, no, no. I have been down to IKEA and I have purchased a uh, not one, not two, not three, but four boxes to go in the calyx, and I'm going to paint these up for you so um i don't know if i'm going to do one for this video or if i'm going to do all four we will see how we get on so um yeah let's get on with it shall we and again we've got another shiny surface to contend with but don't worry this is just the plastic wrapping the lovely lovely box for the calyx unit now this is a dark gray i could have bought white but they only had dark gray in the shop so this is what we're working with so first of all i'm going to mask off this one side because i don't want to get too much paint on the edges of the box and then i'm going to prime the surface with some matte fabric paint just because obviously painting on material it's going to be quite thirsty and, and i don't want to waste my lovely artesia paints which is what I'm going to use to paint it on. I'm not going to use fabric paints, I'm going to use Arteez acrylic paints. So yeah, the first step here is to apply a nice white base coat so I've got something fresh to work on. And now I knew this fabric was going to be thirsty when I was trying to put the paint on, but it really is drinking it up. The minute I put a brush on there, it's kind of like drying. So I'm just putting blobs of paint straight out of the tube onto it and spreading that around. And um, yeah, we seem to have some good coverage. So to start with my design, um, I need to draw some equal lines throughout this to get my design started. I'm hoping that you will recognize it as we continue. But yeah, with my ruler out, I'm drawing some straight lines across and then I'm going to set the middle and then start with my design. So I was going to wait to the end and see if you guessed what it was, but I just can't help myself. This is the little pussycat at the beginning of my intro and at the end for my outro for my videos. I don't have a name from him yet, but looking at his little face, I'm thinking maybe Frank. So yeah, this is what I'm drawing on my first box. So I've drawn all the outlines and now it's just a case, first of all, of filling in the stripes around the cloud shape around the cat and while I've got my pink paint out why not do the stripes that are up and down Frank's tail and on his unicorn horn unicat catty horn unicat horn I don't know anyway I digress so yeah it's stripes up and down and then stripes on the horn and stripes on the tail now I was finding this a little bit cumbersome to work with with all my paints and mixing paints up while I'm going so I've took a little break and um, I've mixed up all the colours that I'm going to need and I've got them in my palette because the box is not just this it's like the other side as well and when I'm trying to move it to paint on it successfully the other little flap was getting in my way so anyway I digress again um, I've mixed up all my paints so I'm just filling in all the stripes and the stripes on his tail and horn Oh my gosh, I do waffle quite a lot just going on and on, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, stripes are painted. So now it's a case of using this lush pink pastel peachy colour to fill in the cloud around Frank. Um, I've also painted the main body of Frank white off of camera. I think I forgot to press record, but... There you go, this is where we're at. Okay, so with all that painting doing done, it's time to whip out the Posca and do some lovely, lovely black outlining around Frank and put his little face on. 
Do you know, I'm wondering, would you have recognised him? Would you have known who he is? I do do hope so. Why don't you message in the comments just to tell me whether you would have known who this was, who I was drawing. So yeah, like I said, I'm putting all the uh, black outline on, fetching in, drawing in his little legs there, which I did have a bit of trouble drawing in the pencil. And um, with the face all on, it's a case of putting the little pink ear innards and his little rosy pink cheeks. <laughs> So for his little rosy pink cheeks, I've decided to whip out the dotting tools. I presume these are still called dotting tools, even though they're big, they're just big dotting tools. But yeah, just to get some nice uh, circles for his little rosy pink cheeks, which I'm just going to tidy up with a little paintbrush here. So off of camera again, yes, I forgot to press record. I've added these little um, lens flares, I guess you would call them, in the colours of the stripes. And I'm just taking off the masking tape here, lovely clean side, and there is Frank. So there you have it. I managed to get one box completed for you, but that doesn't matter. There's three further videos there with me completing the other boxes. So let's have a little look at it. I've built it and... Here we go, here's my little pussy cat. Now, um, I don't know if you recognise him, but he's on my intro and my outro videos. My little pussy cat swishes his tail and jumps off. So uh, yeah, I thought I would... Um, immortalise him, that's the word you're looking for, immortalise. I thought I would do my little, my little pussy cat for you. I have got a little bit of paint on the sides over here, but um, I don't think that matters. It's gonna be popped away in the calyx. So yeah. Um, in a moment, I'm going to start unpacking an old box and packing it into my new box so my uh, my calyx can start to look beautiful again. And um, yeah, I really, really enjoy doing this. Um, it came out a lot better than I expected. Um, to start with, the material was so sucky, it was just taking the paint. Um, so I thought I was going to use gallons and gallons of paint, but, but we didn't. We got there in the end and I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video too. If you did enjoy it, why don't you give me a thumbs up? If you've seen any of my other videos and you like them, um, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Press that notification bell so you never miss a video. I'm here every Friday. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.